it's the daily drive for thousands. But fear over just how safe it is to cross this six kilometer span has driven some to take detours. I think it's too dangerous to cross. After all, chunks of concrete do fall down and engineers say it could crumple during an earthquake. Some blame the federal transport minister for fueling fears this week. He flip-flopped about releasing some studies on the bridge. He now insists it is safe and that all the data has been made public. All studies are all different. They're all public now. Studies that peg the cost of replacing the structure at at least $1.3 billion. And the government says it hasn't yet made a decision on when to spend that cash. But the Liberals say the cost of not replacing the Champlain now are even higher. The crumbling bridge says leader Bob Ray is becoming an international issue. And he suspects the government is sitting on even more data. Even now, we do not have all the information which is at the basis of these, uh, of these reports. Clearly, we need a new bridge. Studies have shown just maintaining the bridge as it is now will soon cost about $25 million a year, and that won't fix the problem. The bridge is a key trucking route between Canada and the United States. Every lane closure for repairs, every weight restriction is an added burden to the transportation industry. Uh, Fuel-wise, uh, hours of services-wise, and the whole logistic uh, approach is uh, very complicated. Uh. And this comes in the midst of an infrastructure crisis in the Montreal area. Many other arteries too are clogged up by construction or in dire need of repair. Orange cones are popping up everywhere after years of neglect. It's a mess. A mess some say will only get worse if the government stalls on replacing the Champlain span, a project expected to take a decade. Geneviève mm -hmm. Beauchemin, CTV News, Montreal.